All right, here goes our wall for the waterfall. Um, heater base here, catch basins in, plumbing for the water. There's our block, brand new wall. All right guys, good morning. It is uh, day three on this beautiful project. Um, I didn't get much footage yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a funny day. We were running around doing stuff, figuring stuff out. So uh, the footage was pretty limited yesterday. I didn't get any vlogs in whatsoever. A uh, little bit of uh, GoPro footage. So yesterday what we did do, I'll kind of show you uh, from day one, now going into day three, kind of what we started at, where we're at, and what's going on today. Um, and kind of make this a quick update and then get to it. So right now I'm just waiting on the guys to show up. They're just uh, leaving the yard. They have some materials that they're bringing up here from our yard this morning. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So yesterday, what did we get done? So, sorry, let's go back. Day one, everything got excavated out here. We kind of shaped the rough shape of the pond. Uh, we put in drainage, so we have the drainage from the downspouts. There's also drainage because where the driveway runs down towards the garage, we have a, a drywall going in there that brings the water out to the back. So we got the underground drainage in and the base work all back here prepped so excavated geomatting in uh, and at the first layer of clear stone and then we got rained out monday so then we were back here yesterday and then yesterday what we got done was this so basically um we got the armor stone here so these are called gabion stone um bags we did not put those in they were already there but they're excellent for building walls and they're super strong so that's those those bags down below uh, so on top we put this armor stone and the reason why is that on this side when you're in here We needed to get something that could get us to get our elevation in here built up meaning our, our, our finished grades So our grades gonna be uh, Roughly off of off of this deck around here. Let's just say seven inches roughly in height um, So it'll be a proper step off our knock pad up onto the uh, the deck So this armor stone we're gonna put two layers wide of uh, fabric cloth all the way around that stone we have um, so we have a, a border there to butt our material up against to and to pack up against uh, and also over here too we put some on this side as well just to kind of finish off the look and same thing we, we're going to end up butting our bricks into there so it gives us our, our elevation that we can build up against otherwise everything else here is a drop off it all falls down so you need something to build up your heights um, we just kept the stones we don't need them back there per se but it did, it did let us get the backfill material for this wall in place and it just kept the look going across nice and clean so um, that's what's there. Our drainage tubes 
uh, are down here. So you can see our piping. That fire one was already in here, I believe, but those two we put in. Uh, and then we kind of threw some of these rocks that we found around the property just to retain in this clear stone, kind of like a gabion stone look, if you will, uh, to retain this in. So we got um, those uh, in yesterday. We also got uh, a set of steps built. So this was not technically part of the original scope of work, but when we started seeing where we had to end off for our finishing heights, um, we talked to the customer and we're, we ripped out their existing wooden steps and we built them a set of interlock steps. So this is what we did yesterday. So we, they had steps kind of like, like this. Look at that view. It's awesome. Um, okay, sorry. Had steps kind of like this, uh, not as steep, but similar to that. Um, and then they're actually old over there. Sorry. So there's the old steps right there. So we ripped those out and then put in these beautiful techo block, um, steps i think these ones are called york steps the color is rivera they're a nice uh, gray color so we built these again nice and tight up to that gabion stone kind of nice seamless on this side here uh, so now they have a nice beautiful set of steps coming up to the pad and again this was important because same as why these armor stones are here this lets us get up to the elevation that we need to for our bricks so it's same height as the top of the step basically um so yeah so we got those steps in yesterday so excavated dug out and then put those guys in uh, and then the last thing that we did was put this, um, I call it a catch basin. So this is a catch basin kit inside of here, basically. Uh, Kendall hooked up yesterday um, this. So this is a, a filter so that debris doesn't get in there. And then in here, this is for, this wall is for a waterfall. So there will be um, a 36 inch spillway that's gonna be about this height here. This wall still has to go up higher yet and it'll, it'll circulate water into here. So basically you have a catch basin kit, and then if you lift this up, you have another filter here. You have your pump, which, which is an on and on valve, and then your pump is down there. Once this basin's full of water, uh, it just takes the water here, sucks it through the pump, through this hose. It comes down here, down to the ground. It runs around the back of the basin, and then comes out um, over here. So the pump, or the, the pumps of water through this hose, and then this will hook up in the back of our spillway right here, um, is how that goes. And then our power wire is also here. So we have power. Um, I should also mention too, so we, we ran a conduit uh, down there. I think it's that black pipe, um, right there, that little black pipe. So that one there is for power, uh, so we can hook up the uh, for lighting back here and for the, the pump. And then the power wire, it just actually comes right through the lid has this little notch, so this this goes like this. Uh, like, sorry, like this, I believe. Adjust that, guys. Bear with me here. So, like that, the little notch here, the cord just runs along on top. There's a notch back here. We notched out the block, and then that's how that power wire gets hidden, and it pokes out back there. So, that's uh, a quick kind of overview, quick as I could, anyways, of what we got done yesterday. So, steps built, armor stones uh, in here. And then that wall started for the waterfall. It's on gator base. The whole thing back here is gonna be on gator base. Uh, and then um, this, uh, this spillway uh, catch basin installed. So today what we're gonna to try to get accomplished is get this wall finished off. So we'll build the wall up, get the caps on it, get that wall done, spillway installed. And then fire pit will be uh, going on at the same time. So we're gonna get Basically this morning, all the base brought in here, all the all the, uh, the clear stone brought in here, get it gra get it graded. Put our gator base, which is right here. <clears throat> this is a uh, fantastic base system, something that's not needed all the time, but when you do want to use it, it's super handy. Um, this is uh, made by Alliance, and basically it's kind of like tongue and groove, so these will lock into each other here, um, and that's how you kind of just keep installing this lay lock in. There's your tongue, there's your groove, uh, and you just kind of lay these out. It's kind of like putting down like a, a click flooring, if you will. Um, they all kind of click in together. They're uh, they're permeable. That's why they have all the holes throughout them, and they're a really neat base system. And because they interlock together, it helps disperse the weight. So that that's kind of what gives it that extra strength. Um, so we will we'll be um, installing gator base all throughout this whole area. Um, so that'll go on today as well. After the, the gator base is in, we'll um, we'll build the fire pit, uh, then start laying the blocks around there. Uh, finish off that waterfall. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, possibly today if we have time, uh, we'll be taking the 10 ton there and finish excavating out where the armor stone's going. Basically the armor stone um, will be going um, along here. So there'll be a row of it going along here. It's, uh, I should say approximately six feet high, 
to 68 feet high. Um, and then it'll kind of curl up the side a little bit there. It'll go in here and in here because the same steps that you see here, we're gonna build those steps right here in between the armor stone. And that's how they're gonna get up and that's their access point from the front door. Walk down here, down the steps, over to the fire pit, which would be here. And if they wanna to go to the river, of course, come over this way, go down those steps and then head down to the uh, to the water. So that's kind of a update guys, where we're at, what we wanna get accomplished today. And uh, now all that's left to do is get after and get started. So we'll uh, catch you guys in a bit. Material get down to that. We have a line that we kind of drew right in there, so we'll put a little bit of uh, more material in there and just shorten this pond up a little bit. That's the uh, we'll call it the settling pond where the water will get filtered from, and then it'll trickle down into here into the, the main pond, which is down here. 
and then we're just kind of putting these rocks around. All these rocks are very cool actually, they all came uh, from this property. So we found all the rocks like, within the bush and, and up there there's a whole bunch of them. And so we've been saving the rocks. The cool thing is that all the rocks they have here for this, we didn't bring them in off site. They're actually all from the property. So it's kind of nice when you're doing construction like this, you can use native material on the land to build stuff. It's just kind of more memorable for the, for the home owner. Um, okay, so over here, they have the uh, the waterfall almost built there now, so I'll, uh, I'll give you kind of a view of that. We have uh, the, this is our last row of blocks that Liam and Noah are putting on right now. So we got to put one more corner block here and then go across the spillway will be in the middle and the caps on top. This is the spillway here, it's a 36 inch spillway. And then these walls guys, in case anyone's curious to know, when you build these walls, um, these tabs, that. this goes on top. So you look down below, you can see in, in these gaps here, there's pins, you can see them down there. So you glue, you bond the row, and you use these pins here. They go down in there, and then we use this little tool just to seat them in place, and that kind of holds that, that wall and locks in a position. But also wedge pieces, so the wedge themselves holds the, um, the wall in together. And then you have the tab, which helps you keep straight and it does hold it together and you have your, your bonding down below. So it's uh, this is called a Tecco Block uh, Brandon Wall, it's a three inch um, wall. And just for a design feature, we're gonna step it up. So the wall kind of goes up over two feet, steps up, comes across the waterfall over here. Uh, instead of just, just doing just kind of a, a boxed in um, wall. So uh, update, that's where we're at. Let's uh, check our time here to see what we're doing here. 11.30, so almost lunchtime. We have all the stuff that I wanted to get accomplished in. We did get all the base material as well down here. So once we are finished with this pond, we can get rid of the uh, the escalator, get it out of here. And then we can uh, start finalizing the grade down below, get our geo grid in, make our fire pit. And then uh, I think today, shortly after three o'clock, we'll actually be uh, laying in our lock. So that'll be, uh, that'll be nice. So all right, update, we'll catch you guys in a bit.
All right, guys, this is how we're looking right now. We have the uh, the fire pit is almost installed. We're waiting on a couple of corner blocks, which we, we have from, at our yard that are on the way here right now. So we're waiting on a few corner blocks to finish it off. Um, we're laying in the antique right now around the base of the fire pit. And then when we're putting in these Borealis papers next, which are these guys right here, they look like uh, like real wood. Pretty cool, first time using this uh, this gray version of it. It's called Riviera. Um, our uh, wall is now in here for the waterfall. And then our pond is also in. So we're, uh, we're moving along here nice. We got all of our gator base uh, down. And uh, once we finish off this antique, we have the lines here to make sure the, uh, sorry, the um, level so that it's nice and straight. And then we're gonna border it with this uh, Borealis. And then there'll be a, uh, a Villaggio big ring circle going around that. So uh, that's where we're at. We're gonna keep laying this in. It's looking pretty cool. Salt and pepper antica look. Four Alice papers around the outside. Looks awesome. The river in the background there. We're gonna put them over here too. So a strip of these Borealis across this front deck. Like that, that'll go across the front to finish that off. right now in this half moon we have our uh, four wide Villaggio radius around this it ends just before the pond and just before the armor stone over there and then we're gonna have this uh, salt and pepper looking antica pattern continuing outside uh, in this area as well so to kind of fill in all the rest of the border except for um, to be a walkway from these steps over to those steps but uh, that's where we're at guys, so that's how it's looking. We have the blocks down here for the fire pits, we can put the caps on. There will be lights under here, so we can't install them, but we can go ahead and dry fit the caps on. And uh, there'll be also 
the spillway that is under here has a light underneath it. So there'll be a light under this one, uh, this cap, and that cap will be a light there as well. Little accent here. And that's it guys. So that's how it's looking. Just wanna lean this down. Right, guys things are shaping up here and looking pretty cool it's uh just after lunchtime here today at least today is day four for us on the job i'm pretty sure it's day four if i'm not mistaken uh so it's just after lunch right now i have uh three or four of the guys in a different job site doing an interlocking lay down the road from here uh we're gonna get this job here um, going as far as the armor stone goes so right now i have will and mj finishing up uh laying in the bricks for what they can do up to this point uh, we have to get the armor stone wall going in the steps one. So Liam and I are gonna work on that together. Jay's placing ro rocks uh, right now just around the pond, cleaning it up, making it look a little better. Um, and yeah, that's where we're at guys. So it's looking super cool. We have, uh, we just we just laid in about uh, 20 minutes ago this hexa. So when you come up off of the, um, from the river and you come up the steps, there'll be a hexa uh, walkway from here. We're building the steps the exact same as these basically. Um, and they're gonna go from here over this way and right kind of where that diesel plate is There's gonna be a set of stairs right there So Lima is just clearing out the room right now with the 10 ton get rid of that diesel plate get rid of those armor stones over there uh, We have to build a road quickly using that fill to get over to the pond because we're gonna backfill um, With some river stone in here right now the, the homeowner wants river stone in this pond So we're gonna make a road uh, get the skid steer fill the bucket of the 10 ton with the skid steer and then reach it down here and put it into the pond. Once that's done, we're gonna rip apart our road using that same debris right there, uh, and then start excavating out along there. Uh, here already has base material for armor stone, and over here, excavate those two spots out, and then start placing our blocks in an L shape, because there will be stairs in between right here, going all the way up to the top. So uh, that's where we're at, this is how things are looking, the fire pit's all in now. Uh, caps aren't glued, lights aren't on, but it's all uh, cut, ready to go. With the GoPro set up right there, pond's all in, looking really cool. Waterfall show you after when it's on, looks amazing, it's really neat. Uh, and all this uh, beautiful Antica salt and pepper look, a Villaggio circle in it, Borealis pavers down there, two different sizes, the tens and the fives, and we have our, our hacks over there. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, it's looking super cool. First time I go up to the road and come back down and take a look at it, it just gives you that wow factor. So we love doing stuff like this. Um, it's an honor when you get to do jobs like this. So uh, let's keep going here. Right, uh, like I said, we're gonna build that wall right now. Uh, well, first back for the pond, Riverstone, then build the wall, and then put the steps in. So let's keep on keeping on.
All right, guys, check it out. The waterfall is going there. Pond's looking awesome. The bricks work is almost all done. The salt and pepper look going on. The ring of the ring of Bellagio here, Borealis in fire pit. So we're at a pause for now as far as in rock goes. We are doing a hexa walkway over here that comes off those York steps. But until we have the steps going up here, we're at a pause. But um, yeah, just want to give you guys a bit of an update where we're at. It's uh, four o'clock. We have a couple more hours of work left today. Uh, we already have this here now dug out for the armor stones. So we're starting to uh, bring in the base, the clear stone for the base. And then uh, we'll start setting in a bit of this wall here tonight. Um, and then tomorrow we'll probably start digging out this side, start setting in this side in, and then start putting in our steps. So tomorrow will be pretty much a big armor stone day for us tomorrow. Uh, but tonight we're just kind of getting a head start and get set up for that so that it'll be a little faster process tomorrow. Uh, we have the uh, 262 and the 259 uh, bringing clear from the truck down to the uh, 10 ton uh, with the rotor tilt. So he just tr basically is turning his bucket around. Uh, what is that, 180 degrees, I guess. They're filling him up, coming down, swinging it, putting it in place. So it just uh, makes that process a little easier. It's pretty cool to watch, actually. It's, uh, this is our first year of running a rotor tilt and the stuff that you, we have been able to do with it, it's awesome. Uh, as far as saving time on a job, making things easier, making things more efficient, uh, super cool piece of machinery and uh, we're, we're very thankful and lucky that we have it. So, Also two actually, we just learned out, we just learned, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago, we had uh, Paul come down from Rotor Tilt and uh, we just learned that the, this bucket actually has a pulsing uh, mechanism, has a vibrator in the bucket to shake your, your material. I'll show you that. We'll do it on the next scoop, I'm sure. So I'll show you what it looks like whenever he does it. It's pretty cool, actually. We didn't even know it has that uh, that feature. So watch this. When he comes in, he can dump it out, and then he can uh, vibrate it out too. So that's not actually him shaking the joysticks. That's actually a button. You hold a button, turn over your toggle, and it actually vibrates the bucket so the material kind of comes out. Uh, not needed for everything. Clearstone obviously comes out of your bucket very easily, but uh, when you want to put a little layer down, or if you had soil, or just there's kind of deep, different backfilling applications, it's pretty handy to have. So we didn't even know that the machine could do that until a couple weeks ago. So we're still learning a lot about it, but uh, super, uh, super handy machine to run. So, anyways, that's a little update for you guys. Working on armor stone. Uh, I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow probably uh, before we start the armor stone or whenever we start it, and we'll give you an update then. But uh, that's a little uh, update, guys. How we're doing.
All right, guys, good morning. We are uh, on site. Today is, I'll get out of the sun here. Today is uh, Saturday. We, uh, I, I wasn't personally on the job uh, much with these guys yesterday, just kind of at the end of the day. I was on two other job sites yesterday, so unfortunately I wasn't here very much, but the guys uh, did a great job. Uh, they were working on armor stone yesterday and also putting in some stairs. So today we're gonna continue that on with the waterfall going here in the background. Uh, job's looking really good. Uh, so I'll kind of flip the camera around and show you what we're up to, but today the goal is to have I think all the inner lock finished off. I'm gonna work on the bottom while they're working up top right now. Get the armor stone finished off, which is only a few more pieces, pieces left, and also the steps in place. So uh, I'll show you guys where we're at kind of right now. Um, so what, what I'm doing is working on connecting those steps over there to these steps over here. We have a nice hexa uh, walkway with a Villaggio border going through. So I'm just putting the border on top so I can make the cuts right now. And then I'll put the same on that side. I have to extend the base a little bit here and a little bit over there to allow for our interlocks to get closer to the stones. We are going to leave about a foot to eight inches buffer zone in there, which will have river stone. Um, and yeah, yesterday the boys got this done. So they got the armor stone here uh, built. So it wraps around the side there, uh, comes over this way, wraps around that way, and same over on this side. They're basically both the same. Um, this was so that the customers can get from down from this fire pit waterfall area uh, up to the uh, the front door, which is up there. So uh, I think we have one, two, three, four, five steps in right now. We had to just put a couple more pieces of armor stone there, another piece over here, and then we're going to finish off these steps uh, this morning. And then, like I said, I'm going to work down here at finishing um, the walkway from those stairs over to these stairs. So we'll put that on a GoPro when you guys can check that out. But uh, Kind of an update, so again, yesterday did the armor stone, a couple steps. Then we're gonna finish off the armor stone, finish off the steps, finish off the interlock, and then uh, that should pretty much be it, except for the final touches for this job. All the brickwork should hopefully be done today. So uh, again, we're here on a Saturday putting it in, and let's go have some fun and get this laid in. Step going in right now. It's a step number nine. There's uh, eight here. There's uh, I think ten total over there. This is the last one. Goes in. Easy. Just like that. So last few adjustments. Just what we'll do is pop out that picket. That board, use this board as a leverage for the shovel. Straighten it in between each side. Make sure that it's uh, it's it's flush up to here. And then uh, that's it. Step number nine of nine will be uh, installed. And that's our way down to, uh, to this pad. 
Check that out. Alright guys, so check this out. We got the, uh, the Hexa walkway in, so those York steps go down there. We have the Hexa connecting it to those York steps over there. Armor stones installed. Antique is all finished off here. And right now we're just working up here on the, uh, the last part of the job here as far as the interlock is concerned, which is the, uh, the walkway. So we have a, we're putting a walkway. Um, as well, um, same thing basically as that hex you see down there, similar to that up here. So from this York step over here uh, to the front door. So we just took off their their step, but we're gonna go basically, you can see here the, uh, the garage floor height. So that height there across our pavers will be level right to there. Uh, we just dug this up with the, uh, the 10, 10 and the skids here. All the, uh, the fill just put over there on site for now. Uh, so Will's just bringing in the base. They're just dumping out what's left in the truck up there. They'll bring that uh, down here, the rest of the clear stone. And then uh, we'll put this in, um, pack it, and then uh, get this walkway installed. So I think it's close to 3.40-ish. We'll check my time here. What is it here? 3.52, so close. Uh, so yeah, almost four, Saturday. Uh, try to get this in here by closer to five o'clock. Um, we're working up top here now, so opposed to working down there, it should go a little bit faster. I think it won't take us too long. If we have enough clear stone here, we'll probably get this walkway in about an hour. So let's, uh, let's pound it out. We're almost there, last major step. So here comes Will to get out of his way and uh, get this going. And it is looking awesome, by the way. Look at this, guys. Check out the view from up here. Steps looking down. Check that out. Super cool walkway, fire pit, pond. And anyone who's, uh, who's wondering why the pond is out of water, the, uh, the homeowner pumped it out. She's doing all of her own uh, say piping and plumbing for that pond. So we filled it up to make sure that there was no leaks in it. We put a bunch of clear stone there at, at her request. She wants the, clear, the uh, sorry, uh, river stone in there. Um, now she's gonna do all of her, her piping and filtration work. She's gonna have fish and I guess an irrigation system or oxygen system, whatever you call it for a pond. So she's gonna do all that work. We just did the installation as far as digging of the pond, the placing of the rocks, the liner, uh, but all the actual uh, plumbing work, she, the homeowner here is gonna handle it herself. Uh, so she pumped it out last night so that she can do that work here today. And, um, and hopefully we can fill it back up before the job's fully done. We still have to pay the driveway, which is another full excavation and pave. Um, 
So hopefully at the time we're done that part of the job, that pond will be filled back up. It'll just make for a nicer picture. So uh, yeah, but anyways, it's looking amazing. Um, homeowner's happy, so that's always good. And uh, again, let's finish off this walkway and then uh, all the hardscape stuff will be finally done. So let's uh, keep on keeping on. guys what is up it is uh saturday 10 i think 10 to 6 so uh a good day good day good day and uh i was working today with jay noah and uh will and guys great job uh customers complimented how well we worked together and how much we got done and that's uh makes you proud to hear stuff like that so anyways today was awesome great job guys uh, now I'm gonna walk you guys through what we did today. Uh, basically all the brickwork is done. We have a few more cuts on the walkway up there. We can finish up Monday or I think Monday's calling for rain again, but we'll see um, next day and we'll finish up those cuts. And basically all the hardscape stuff is more or less done. Uh, there's probably like 5% of stuff to still to finish up and double check things. Obviously we still have the sand stuff, but the installation of hardscape stuff is basically now done. So uh, quick walk around guys before I take off and I'll show you guys uh, what it's looking like and it is just so cool i'm so proud to show you this so check this out um you guys have seen this probably a lot and i'm sure i'll show it to you again but starting back here waterfall our cool uh radius circle we have the borealis square inlay the antique inside of that antique salt and pepper everywhere the fire pit armor stone is all in now that's done i probably should have started down here but if we go down we have all these steps in so there's 10 steps uh, here, I believe, comes up to this really cool uh, hexa with a Villaggio border uh, walkway. Uh, salt and pepper mix again, but more salt than pepper. And then up to nine more tackle block York steps, armor stone walls, 
on both sides to encapsulate uh, those steps in. And then when you come up here to finish it off, which is this is just what we just kind of finished off tonight here, we have this um, another hexa walkway, but opposite more salt and pepper, and the Velagio border is black instead of gray. So basically, what that just means is that what we did was we we kind of flip flopped the two. So down there you have the the hexa walkway, uh, more dark than light. Um, with a light border and then basically here is the exact opposite so it's more light than dark and a dark border so it kind of gives that that cool reverse look on the job um anyways that's it guys this is a wrap for today um i'll continue back on the video probably next whenever we sand uh this job um and i'm probably thinking of making a part two don't quote me on this because i could be to totally wrong but probably a part two because we still have to do a full excavation of the driveway um and then get that that sucker paved so that'll be probably a couple days uh, probably a full dig out day digging it and then probably uh, You know better part of a day paving it and getting it ready for asphalt. So that's it for now guys Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll tune back in uh, next day. Hopefully it's Monday if we don't get rained out. So uh, Cheers, we'll see you then